So, in order to add an icon to a thing in Adult Game Maker, it needs to be hosted on an image hosting site. In my opinion, MyRaware.io is one of the best. I will also be using this throughout the course of this tutorial. And then, once it's hosted, you need to copy the hosted images URL, then append it to the icon property. So, I have also provided an example of this. So, here we can see the icon property, and here we can see the image URL of the hosted icon on MyRaware.io. Now, before you actually start adding icons into your game, there are a few things you need to know about the necessary icon dimensions. So every type of thing that is buildings, upgrades, achievements, resources, etc. has a default icon size of 48 by 48 pixels. Now the only exception to this rule are buttons with the big button class. They have an icon size of 256 by 256 pixels. Now icons can be changed to whatever dimensions you want with simple custom CSS classes. I will show you this in just a second. So to have an icon be of custom size, you need to add a simple CSS class to your game in the CSS section. Here we can see the class that we are going to be creating. You will declare new classes in CSS with a dot in the CSS section. So we have dot icon class, these curly brackets, and here we have the height of our desired icon size and the width of our desired icon size. Of course, you can customize the height and width to whatever you like. You would then append the class to the icon class property, so it only affects the icon. So here we have a building, a metal detector building in our game, and if we wanted it to have an icon size of 128 by 128 pixels, we would just assign this class that we have created as an icon class to this building. Now for some pixel art software that you can use. So a sprite in my opinion is one of the best if not the best pixel art software right now on the market. It's also the one I use. It's in my opinion the best value for price. It's approximately $17 on Steam though. There is also Photoshop. Pretty sure most of you are familiar with Photoshop. You can also draw pixel art in MS Paint if you really want to, or what I would recommend if you want something for free is Piskel, and it's actually a free and open source software that you can draw in browser with. And of course, all of these are linked in the description. So now with that said, let's actually guide you through how to actually add an icon into your game. Okay, so I need to add an icon to my button in my game. It uses this big button CSS class, which means that the icon in question needs to be size 256 by 256 pixels. So let's just search up real quickly for coin icon 256 by 256 PNG. There we go. And this should hopefully net us only 256 by 256 images. So I point like this one. Let's see if it is the right dimensions. It is. Here we can see the dimensions of the image. So let's click save image as, let's save it in our icons, and let's save it as coin button icon. Now these icons are actually ones that I have already drawn, which we will be using in our game as well. So let's save it as a PNG. There we go, save it. So now that we have an image saved that we like, let's just search up myraware.io. Now once you are here, you will need to log in or make an account. And once you are logged in, this is how it should look like. So you just click go to your garden. Then I have actually created a folder for us to use, so it's empty. And then you just drag and drop your icon that you have saved into here, wait for it to upload. And here we can see the URL that we are looking for. We just append this URL to the icon property and we have an icon in our game appended to a thing. If it is the correct dimensions, everything should work just fine and it's really that simple. So let's now copy this URL, let's get into our paste. Here I have a button which I want to append this icon to. So I just type the icon property and then paste it into here. There we go. Now let's save changes and check out our game. All right, so I'm in my game now and we can see that the image has uploaded properly. It doesn't seem to be oversized or undersized. It's just the right size. Of course, we can click it as well. And yeah, this is really great. Let's now add coins and metal detectors into our game in the same way. Of course, it's also important to mention all of these images will be linked in the description, even the ones I have made. Now for my buildings, I have actually decided that I want to use an icon size of 64 by 64 pixels instead of the default 48 by 48, right? So that it's a bit more clearer. Now, in order to do this, I taught you how to do this just a few minutes ago in my presentation. So we are gonna need to make a custom CSS class in the CSS section. And I'm just going to name it building icon size since I want all my building icon sizes to be the same size. And here we just write height 64 pixels with 64 pixels as well. 
and then we append this into our building so icon class building icon size and there we go now let's save our changes and let's get to uploading my custom sprite that i have created into myroware all right so i am back in myroware and let's upload my icons into myroware as well so we need the metal detector icon and the coin icon as well let's copy the metal detectors url and append it to the icon property in my building so here we go icon should be this and just so we're quick with it let's also upload our coin as well now my coin is actually the default size so we don't need to create a custom size css class for that we can just append it as it is so icon and there we go let's save our changes now let's hit refresh and there we go, we have our coins here and our metal detectors here. Okay, and that's honestly all there is to adding icons into your game. It's really a lot simpler than you might have thought. For the people who are following my Idle Game Maker course and developing this game with me, right now I don't quite like how these blue colors fit with my art style, but that's fine. In the future I might probably change it, but for now it's good enough. Okay, and that honestly should be it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful and if you have any problems at all with assigning your icons, feel free to ask a question in the comments, in the subreddit or the discord server, all of which are linked in the description. Now, uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any future tutorials. And if you really enjoy what I do here, feel free to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description and for only $2 a month, I can shout you out at the end of my videos. Alright, that's all I have to say and I'll see you in the next one.